so hi guys yeah, you guys are welcome back again yeah. so um without taking much of our time today so let me just show you guys around let me show you guys around first just see how, how the site looks like yeah so um I've a lot of video on this site so, so much of videos on this site this is my biggest my biggest project ever so and i've done a lot a lot of videos on this site so let me just show you guys what the the the, the construction looks like here the, the updates what we are up to at this at this moment so let me show you guys so before we go to what we have to do today so um we are on our fifth floor fifth floor grid line seven to twelve so i told you guys we are doing it sequentially we are from grid line 1 to 22 yeah we are from grid line 1 to 22 but basically work is going on currently on grid line 1 to 17 yeah so the, the, that's where the main building is from 17 to 22 is our car park section is our car park area so from grid line 1 to 17 is the main building that is going to 7th floor yeah so let me just show you guys but we have um, two expansion joints that breaks the building yeah, so that separates the building so we have from grid line one to seven we have an expansion tent there uh, between seven and twelve also we have another expansion tent so at the end of seven at the end of grid line seven we have an expansion joint and at the end of grid line twelve we have one expansion tent. so it's it makes it easier for us to 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 break the building to be doing it sequentially so we are not taking in everything one at a time so we are doing it one after the other so let me just show you guys what the site, the, the state of the site looks like. So I mean the, the, the part of Lagos that's you know the island part of Lagos State so where the construction is going on heavily. I mean <laughs> I mean heavily almost everywhere in Lagos State. You know, at this part of Lagos State, almost everywhere construction is always is always going on. So let me just show you guys what the site looks like. So before we go into what we want to do today, so we want to cast our fifth floor. That is from grid line seven to twelve. That one is ready. The reinforcement is ready. So I want to give them the final level, the final casting level. So that's why I that's what I want to do today. So I need to update you guys and show you guys some things around as well. So let me just show you guys around and see what the the, the whole place looks like. So guys um okay let me just show you from here so you can see from grid line one to seven we have we'll start raising the columns you can see guys so from grid line seven to twelve that's where I'm, i am right now so the reinforcements are ready we want to cast that one as well so this is this part that i want to transfer the levels that is ready for casting so i want to transfer the levels on on this area yes and it's going to be the same level with the one from grid line one to to seven so they must be on the same level so i can just use that as my reference or just i'll make sure i do everything possible to make sure that things are are, are, in, are in right way as according to the drawing so and after that this grid line this grid line from 12 to 17 you can see that one is below so grid line 12 to 17 we are that is, this one is at the fourth floor slab we are preparing the formwork for the first floor slab we are preparing the formwork for that so very soon that one is also going to meet up with the fifth floor so i told you we have expansion joint at the at the at the, at the grid line so that's why we can do them one after the other so guys so let me just show you you can see this 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 this, this you can see everywhere construction almost everywhere almost everywhere almost everywhere so guys, let me just show you guys like we have one neighbor so you can see the others as well you can see there's almost everywhere the social is going on so even at, at our back behind us there's there's a work that is going on let me show you guys that one too they are also behind us you can see that work is also going on there let me show you guys that one is like um i think it's up to four blocks that they are constructing there so let me show you guys you can see 
so i'm far away from them so that's why i'm trying to zoom in so that you guys can see so another work is going on there as well so that's it guys almost almost everywhere this is another one here you can see work is also going on there you can see work is also going on work is going on there as well so that's it guys almost everywhere in Lagos states construction is, is going on so guys let's just let's get to work let's get to work so that i won't waste your time let's get to work let's get to work so i told you guys what i want to do today is to transfer the, the final casting level for this floor yeah so and uh, as usual you know i always do something i always make sure that i check the 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 beam the, the reinforcement levels i always try as much as possible to check them check the reinforcement levels the difference in their heights so to determine my own final casting level and uh and i'm very sure that it can't exceed what what we have planned what was in the drawing you know we have done one on grid line one to 17 which is this so i will just relate it with this with this floor so i will just relate it with with grid line one to seven because they must be on the same level so so that's it guys let me just let's let's get it done let me show you guys how it's how it works so we are, we are done on grid line one to seven so i'm going to check with that level the concrete will be my reference so i'm now using to check all the top of reinforcements if they are all intact so that's it guys so let's go we have a void here so we we have a void at this part so even on the sixth floor we'll be having a swimming pool on the sixth floor so don't worry guys i will, I will definitely update you i will update you guys once we are once we are we are there we are that part so i will update you guys so let's let's go to work let's go to work let's go to work okay so guys so let's get to work yeah, so let's get to work the level instrument is is set let me show you guys so let's get to work So this is the expansion joint that I'm showing you guys that separates the building. So this is the grid line 7 that we have the first expansion joints. So this is what we use to separate the two. Okay. So I'm going to be using this concrete level as my, as my benchmark. He wants to check that spot for me so i will check that spot and use it as my as my benchmark so i will use that as my benchmark for for the final casting level of, of the next phase because they are on the same level so it's, it's still the same floor so let me check this you can see our our last level instrument is is, is intact so so I have one five two one five two five one point five two five. Let me show you guys. I have one point five two five. So you guys can see. So I have one five two five. Okay, Mark. So let me record that down. That's my benchmark. So I have one five one point five two five. So now I will check the. I want to check the beam the beam levels at, at intervals at different spots so any any value that is that is close to this or that is above this that means there is there's an issue somewhere that the engineers need to resolve maybe the form work is, is is too high or whatever they're going to do with it so they will, they will, they will resolve that so but the the casting the, the reinforcement must not be the same level without us too high than that then the the higher the, the value, the higher the value is, the lower the spot you are you are checking. So that's that's how level leveling works. Then the, the lower the lower the value, the higher the spots. The higher the value, the lower the spots. So if I have one five two five as my benchmark, so any levels that I'll be getting 
they must not be close to that they must be below that so let's check this so we are checking the reinforcements now to see what we have so you can see so here we have so you can see we have one five one five five zero so we have one five five zero 1.550 so so that shows that on that spot i have 25 25 mm cover for the concreting so you know i said okay mark to another place so you know i told you guys that the the higher the value for example now my my reference my benchmark is one one point five two five that's my benchmark so now the the, the spot that i check on the reinforcement is 1.5 Five zero. You can see that when it comes to value, the, the, the value of the reinforcement is high, is higher than 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 the, my benchmark. And I said the the lower the value, the lower the value you get, the higher the spots. If the value you are getting from your leveling staff is is high, if the value you are getting is high, that means the spots the spots you are the spots you are checking is is lower. I hope you guys will get what I'm saying. For example, now if my benchmark is 1.525 and I check the reinforcement that must not meet up to my benchmark. So for my reinforcement, I have 1.550. That means that the reinforcement is lower than my benchmark by 25 mm difference. Do you get guys? So that means my ref my my reinforcement is lower than my concrete than my benchmark with 25 mm difference when I check. So I subtract 1.525 from minus one five five zero so i have minus 20 i have 25 mm difference that means my benchmark is higher than my reinforcement with 25 mm that shows that i have a, a concrete cover a space of a concrete cover for 25 mm on the reinforcement beam so which is which is okay so the cover that we have for reinforcement is 2.5 or 3 cm that's the concrete cover that we do have so we are good with that so let's just check randomly and see what we have somewhere else so on this spot i have 1.4 let me show you guys so that you can see as well so let me show you guys here so here i have 1.4 1.542 1.542 so you guys can see so that place too i also have i have two cm cover on that on that aspect as well okay mark move to another place so that's just how we check around at different spots so anywhere that that the reinforcement is above my benchmark is above the, the normal concrete level that we have here that means i need to call the attention to it and to find a solution to it because the, the concrete cover the concrete on that side on this next floor must not exceed what we have here because they must be on the same floor so that's it guys that's it so don't don't forget what i shared with you guys once you are checking it if you have 1.5 somewhere and you have 1.4 somewhere that means 1.4 is in terms of the, the spot height 1.4 is higher than the 1.5 do you get guys so that means the spot that you have 1.4 is above the spot that you have 1.5 so don't don't get it twisted that's just how it works in leveling but in terms of the, the value you can see that one point five is higher than 1.4 but when you want to interpret it in terms of the height when you want to relate it in terms of the height the 1.4 the spot of the 1.4 is above the spot of the 1.5 so the higher your value the higher the number of you get the value you get the lower the spots you are you are you are checking so that's it guys so if you have any question or you don't get the way i explained it you can just drop it in the comment section because I, I will do a better explanation of that or i will explain better in the comment section so thank you guys i really appreciate thank you for staying true thank you for subscribing and if you haven't make sure you do that before you leave if you find the video helpful make sure you, so, you subscribe to my channel share the video to, to friends and colleagues and everyone that you know that will to surely help them in one way or the other and like and drop a, a comment if you have any question you want me to do any video make sure you drop it in the comments box and i will definitely attend to everything so thank you guys i love you thank you i'll see you guys later so bye